how we can determine a range in Google Sheets. And so the first thing I want to do is start by defining what we mean by range. Range simply means the maximum value in a data set minus the minimum value in a data set. And it kind of is a measure of how spread out your data is. And so the first thing we're going to do is just try to organize our work as much as possible. To the right of my table over here, I'm actually going to include a new subheading. So I'm going to call this my max reaction time. Um, we'll call the next one my min reaction time. And what we're going to do in the column to the right of that is we're going to put the range of our reaction times here. And what we need to do essentially is just go through and calculate the maximums and the minimums for each of our age groups. And then we're just going to do a, a difference calculation, or in other words, just do some subtraction here. So first things first, we need to go through and calculate our maximums and our, min, our maxima and our minima here for each of our age ranges. So that's what I want to start with here. And maybe I'll, I'll bold these really quickly just so we can see their table subheadings. So for my zero to five age class, the very first thing I need to do is calculate the maximum data value in that in that uh, class. So I'm going to, because I'm doing a calculation here, I'm going to write equals, and I'm just going to type in max with the beginning parenthesis. And what I can do is I can go highlight all the data that falls in this 0 to 5 age range, at least with respect to reaction times. In this case, we only had one person in this class, so I'm only going to highlight their data value here. And when I click on it, it's going to say, well, the maximum data value in that class was 0.12. That was the biggest datum. When you go over to your minimum reaction for your 0 to 5 age class, I'm going to write equals, but this time, instead of writing max, I'm going to write min, and I'm going to put a beginning parenthesis. And again, I'm going to click on all data that was in our reaction time column for 0 to uh, up to, but not including 5 age range. Put an end parenthesis. And you're going to see that again, our minimum in this case is 0.12. So when we do a difference in this very, very bottom class here, what we're going to find is that the range is going to be equal to our max minus the min to give us the range. In this case, we're just going to get zero. What I want to show you is, once we calculate all of our maxes and mins for each of these age groups, we can actually ask our spreadsheet to do a quick calculation for us to find the difference between these two. So before we do that demonstration, I want to show you just really quickly here, let's find a few more maxes and mins. For our five up to but not including 10 year old age group, we're going to write equals max, put a beginning parenthesis here, and I need to go highlight all of the reaction times um, for five up to but not including 10 year olds, which is going to be these right here. And I'll put an end parenthesis. So it says the highest data point was 0.425 out of all of those. Let's go next door. We're going to write equals min, put our beginning parenthesis, and I'm going to highlight the same data points here, our reaction times for our five up to but not including 10 year olds. It says the minimum data point was 0.375. So let's do one more here. How about we find the maximum data value for our reaction times for 10 up to but not including 15 year olds. So that'd be these guys here. I'm not going to go up to the 15, end parenthesis. And then over here, let's put equals the minimum data value for our reaction times of our 10 up to but not including 15 year olds. So end parenthesis, enter. So we have our minimum data value. This is something that I'm going to continue to do all the way down this table for all of our maximum and minimum reaction times in each of those age categories. Once I've got all those in, however, what I can do and what you need to do next is head over to this range column because what we're going to do is we're going to ask our computer or our spreadsheet to take the maximum minus the minimum in order to calculate our range. So the way this is done, and listen carefully here, is we're going to do a calculation. So the very first thing we have to type in is equals. And I'm going to hit equals. And all I have to do is click on the actual cells themselves. So where my mouse is, I'm going to say take my maximum time here. I'm going to click on this cell. Take that cell. And then I'm going to hit the minus key up next to 0, minus. And I'm just going to click on the minimum cell right next to it. And it's going to take that first cell minus the second cell when I hit enter. And it says, by the way, this is 0. And in order to save myself the trouble of having to, to write this all the way down this column, if I go click on that cell where I just made this formula, what I can do is there's this little blue knob in the bottom right corner of this cell. And I can click it down, this column here, and it's going to calculate that range of values for each of these given um, max and min pairs. So this minus this was 0.05, this minus this was 0.02, and we can do this all the way down the column. Okay. So we need to find ranges for our reaction times. We also need to find ranges for our reflex times. 
So that means that we're gonna have to add to our table here, and maybe I'll zoom out just a little bit so we can all see. I'm gonna add max reflex, min reflex, and then range reflex. And I'm gonna go through and do the same practice here. Perhaps in this case, I'm gonna write equals max with the beginning parenthesis. And I'm gonna say for our zero to five age category, it's reflex time was just this data point here. I'm going to go ahead and calculate equals min, beginning parenthesis. And it was also just this data point here for zero through five year olds. So end parenthesis. And in this case here, I can say that this equals my max reflex minus my min reflex. And the range here was zero as well. So go ahead and calculate all the max and min uh, reaction, sorry, reaction and reflex times for each age category, and then get all your ranges up there. And once you're good to go with that, then we'll have some data that we can play around with.